lighting and colour contrast are the two things that people can do for themselves right away. If we just take, for example, what do you eat your food off? Most people these days, white is very popular. And if you have a white plate with fish, mashed potato, chicken, it's going to disappear. But if you have a dark plate, then things are going to stand out more easily. With drinking vessels, having a plain glass with water in, out goes your hand and over it goes. If you can have a glass with a pattern on, then you've actually got something to aim for. People do get embarrassed and frustrated by the little things that can go wrong. So do they decorate their bathroom with the, with the toothpaste when they're trying to get it on the brush? So is it easier to think round the problem and think, well, if I get a coloured toothpaste, and quite often you can get bright blue these days, and put it into a saucer or something like that, and then dip your brush into the toothpaste rather than try and do it the other way about. Um, we had one lady who went to the hospital and when she lay down on the examination couch, she was going for something other than her eyes, um, she looked down and she had odd shoes on. Very, very upsetting at the time, but if you just use a clothes peg to clip the shoes together, then it can, it's just a way of organising things. We produce the talking newspapers for the area. It can be very frustrating for people when they can't read the newspaper. They like to get the newspaper. Maybe they can manage the headlines, but then can't manage any further down. So we compile the talking newspapers for this area. Um, and it's actually produced onto a memory stick. And we can get about 11 and a half hours of listening onto that. So the individuals have the speaker at home. The talking news department, they do all the recording and copy onto the memory stick. And that goes out through the post. We have a whole host of talking clocks and watches, or it might be that it's just the type that has a high contrast, which doesn't talk, but because of the way that it's laid out, it may be easier to see. But then the talking clocks... The time is 3.21 p.m. And it also gives the... The time is 3.21 p.m. The date is 25. March 2014, Tuesday. We have the BT big button phone, and here we go back to the colour contrast. So there are nice white numerals on a dark background set again into the white of the phone. And always the five on any keypad has either a dimple or a raised notch on it so that people can find the centre of the keypad. We have a talking microwave, so this will actually repeat back to you every, every instruction you give it. High power, one minute, one minute, ten seconds. Sometimes it's better to have a very basic microwave that we can mark up with bump ons, these little orange tactile markings. Um, so if you've got one of the cheaper ones, then we can actually mark up. The, the dials on the microwave. This is a little gadget called a liquid level indicator. We normally suggest to anybody that they actually put their cup onto a small tray. This is so in case they do spill anything so they're not having to mop up the whole the kitchen units. Um, so they can they pop their cup on top of the tray and then as you pour the liquid into the cup Once the liquid touches the bottom prongs, it will start to leak. If this was, say, a cup of tea, somebody wanted to add some milk to it, um, then you can add more, and it will start to vibrate around the cup. 